Hey there, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate hyper realistic AI pictures just with your phone. If that's what you want to learn, stick to the end of this video. Okay, guys, there are three apps that you will be using in generating these AI images. Number one is called Lazy Cow Ads, all right? Number two is Pinterest, and number three is Photo Lab. Don't worry, I'm going to be leaving the link to download these apps in the description of this video. They are all available on Play Store, all right? God's way to go here. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I teach you how you can become more digitally productive and make money and have good success in life. If it's your first time of coming to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. And to my returning viewers, welcome back and make sure you like this video so that it can be of much help to other people on YouTube. Having said that, let's go right into this video. So we are starting first of all with Lazy Cow Ads. So you just need to go to your Play Store. Then you are going to type Lazy Cow Ads. So look at it here, Lazy Cow Ads. All right, so this is it up here, Lazy Cow Ads, up here. All right, so you are just going to install it in your phone. The second app is Pinterest. So this is it. So this is Pinterest right here. You click on install, you install it. Then finally, the last app is called Photo Lab. So you can see it's down here. This is the last one, Photo Lab. So you have gotten the three apps that is needed in generating AI images. So for you to generate images with Lazica Arts, all you just need to do is to click on Lazica Arts. Okay. All right. So once you click on Lazica Arts, it's going to show you something that looks like a website. So that is where the app is. So you will see right here, you will see search for image, generate image. So right here, you can see different images you can download if it's is required for whatever you want to do all right but if you now want to generate an image so you click on here this generates okay now i've clicked on generate so you will see here they will ask you describe the image you want to generate so today i'm doing this video is 19th of july and it's pito b's um birthday so I would like to generate an image. So you have to sign in with your email. So I'm going to sign in with my Google. So you can see I've already signed in with my Google. You can also do that. So today is Peter B's birthday. I'm going to click on. Hyper realistic AI image of. Peter Obi. So once you do that, you click on generate. So you can see the images it gave you here for hyper realistic images of Peter Obi. Okay. Just add Governor Peter Obi. So you can see the hyper realistic images it gave us for somebody that looks like um, Pito B, right? So you can just select anyone. And once you select it, next thing you're going to do is just to save it. So you can see here, download. I just long pressed on it and I downloaded it, okay? So that is how you can generate hyper realistic images of other people, okay? Then, secondly, if you want to download the image on Pinterest, you have to click on Pinterest right here. So this is how to use Pinterest. The same process, you just have to sign in using your Google. Please, if you are getting value from the video, I would like you to like the video right now. Please like it, like it, like it, like it. Thank you. All right, so once you've done everything you need to do on Pinterest right now, now I have signed up on Pinterest. So all you just need to do, if you come on Pinterest here, you search 
hyper so if you come on pinterest you can start hyper realistic ai images so you are going to see a lot a lot a lot of pictures so picture pinterest is just like a picture gallery all right so you can select anyone you want if a graphic designer whatever you are doing you want is to create a post create a picture that will be sharing online so right here you can download anyone you can use it for your wallpaper your backgrounds whatever you want to use it for okay so as a graphic designer this is where i actually come to get my backgrounds that i use in designing so that is about pinterest then finally is how to use photo lab so it is on photo lab that you can transform your images okay you can transform your images from your personal image to a smudge painting and different different things you want it to look like so for example let's look at let's transform one of our image to this okay so this is one of the images that i am going to be changing my picture to so so let's say we are going to select this p2b's image right now all right that we used so we select this and we click on this arrow down here all right so you can see it's getting the image so because this is the normal version on play store is asking me to get the pro version okay i'm still going to show you how to use all of them so you can see the image have been transformed right now all right so the next thing is just for you to save it and for you to save it you have to click on the share icon up all right so look at it here share icon up and you click on download so if you notice right here it is going to have the logo down here okay the photo lab all just because it is not the pro version all right but you can actually use other apps and crop this um photo lab logo out before you send it to your client or whoever you are sending it to so if you would like to get the part two where i will show you how you can personally generate hyper realistic ai images all right there is a second part of this video i'd like to hear from you in the comment section tell me i should send it to you tell me you want the part two and i'm going to get it out to you immediately hey there i know you got value from this video all right so this is the part one of how to generate hyper realistic ai images so you generate images of other people that are already in the internet all right so in the part two of the video i'm going to be showing you clearly how you can generate the ones you are seeing on my screen right now and i'm also going to show you how you can use other apps to crop out and remove watermarks okay from the image you have generated on photo lab all right so if you want that let me hear from you right now in the comment section telling me i want it once i see your comment I'm going to reach out to you right there on your comment and you'll be one of the first people that will gain access to the 32 of the video are you in or you are out let me hear from you in the comment section until then see you next time bye bye